It's been a while since we've talked about the Intellivision Amico because almost pretty much everything that needed to be said has been said. This thing was just a failed experiment. People not getting their refunds. These fools opening up office space across the world, renting these big ass buildings to be in what? Irvine, Salt Lake City, San Francisco, Dubai, Nuremberg. And then they had to slim down and get rid of people and they still haven't launched this thing. It's supposed to come out years ago. What the hell, right? I mean, there's some of those people out there who are just hell-bent on this thing coming to fruition. And more power to you, man. You got some patience. You got some faith in your almighty Amico and Tommy Tallarico. You know, and there's those people who are a little crazy. If you had some kind of justified uh, criticisms, you know, or concerns, like, I was I was fair and balanced. I don't care what anybody says. I pre-ordered this damn thing and was like, I'm going to try it. It might be the most amazing thing in the world. But, you know, it was all the things that came out after that. The weird temp stuff in the games that they showed, copy and pasting stuff, stealing assets. Tommy Tallarico and his weird rage just calling everybody like, I don't know, you know, I don't want to repeat half the stuff that guy said. I thought this was supposed to be like a family-friendly system. No curse words. You know, it's all great. But no, Tallarico, man, is freaking nuts. But you remember, this thing was supposed to come with like some games built in. Let me go to the FAQ. Like you could still pre like you could still pre-order this thing. The hell you could buy the stupid greeting cards. I bought them for purpose of making a video, but about the games. Okay, so uh Mika will have a variety of games. Ten dollars or less, boxed editions, twenty dollars. Okay. Which games will be in the initial launch window? So every Amico comes with six games: Astro Smash, Shark Shark, Skiing, Cornhole, huh? Sparkle, and then a game yet to be announced. Then they got a bunch of other games. Dynablaster, right? Okay. Talk about that one in a second. Finnegan Fox, Evil Knievel, which, you know, hey, like these games are supposed to be like exclusive to the Amico. Um, no, no loot boxes, no DLC, cheap games, just get going type of thing. Well, I mean, great, great. Can we still pre-order this? Let me let me pre-order one. Oh yeah, you can you can get wait, can you? Temporary they're not taking pre-orders anymore, it looks like. Wait. Pre-order from here. Oh, wait. Yeah, you could still pre-order. Just no money down. It's just kind of like interest probably for investors. But like you could still buy the uh, this this stupid thing, this limited set of uh, <laughs> these uh, grading cards, right? You get $150 for the pack of eight. Awesome, dude. Like I don't remember how many they said they made of these, but it wasn't a ton. But they didn't sell out, man. They didn't sell out. Everybody who got one of these is supposed to be like, oh, you know, RFID. There's supposed to be some kind of NFT type thing going on. I, I don't know. There's a lot of weird things. We unboxed this boo-boo-ness on the channel. Hey, games that you could buy a couple years ago, own the physical editions for, but you can't use them for anything. You can't play these games. Where's the Amico at? Well, the Amico, essentially right here, my, my Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is now the Amico. Have you seen this? The Nintendo Switch is now the Amico. Shark Shark, released today for the Amico. It's supposed to be a free built-in game for the Amico. $14.99. This is Shark Shark for the Amico. Look at this. Look at the shark. Let's go back. Uh, let's, let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Look at their games. Like, they have pictures. Look at that. Shark Shark. Look at that shark. Look at that shark. This is Shark Shark. Look at this. That's Shark Shark. Same uh, puffer fish blown up right there that's in their their little image it's the same game it's the same game they are now like it's no longer exclusive to the amico inspired by the legendary shark shark released on the intellivision in 82 this reimagined version for up to four players offers you a modern and addictive gameplay fantastic graphics and great sounds lots of levels many underwater characters like tommy tallarico the clown fish you're a very ambitious little fish surrounded by the gulping underwater crowd. Okay, I'm not reading all this, man. I get it. You're like eating things and you're trying not to get eaten by like the shark. You're trying to avoid the, you, you eat the small fish and you grow is what I'm assuming. There's so many mobile games like that. I guess kind of, I've played stuff like that, like at round one arcade, but yeah, just released uh, today. B BBG Entertainment, that's the publisher. There you go. There you go. But it doesn't end there. And I'm not sure if there's more. There could be more. Like, who are these guys? Oh, yeah, look, right here, Dyna Blaster. I already have that one pulled up right here. This one released two weeks ago. This is also a part of their... Um, oh, look, it's right there, Dyna Blaster. You can get a physical copy of it. 
that can't be played on anything, right? Where is it? It was in there. Yeah, it's right there. Dyna Blaster. You can you can you could buy a physical copy of this game that cannot be used on anything. Maybe they'll give you a, a switch download code. Dyna Blaster. This one released a couple weeks ago. It's just a simple Bomberman clone, right? But this was supposed to be for the Amico. The hell happened to the Amico? Doesn't exist. Who knows what's going on? But I'm sure there's still people out there who's got the faith. And great for you, man. If it happens, excellent. If it doesn't happen, like, I don't care. I, it, to me, it's not like, it's not an argument about, like, wanting to see something fail. It's just the people behind it, the shenanigans, the bullshit that they were saying, the the offensive stuff they were doing. People were offended by Tommy Teller. I was never offended by him. He's kind of a, a, a you know... He's he's got that big ass ego, and that's that's fine. He thinks very highly of himself, and I mean, you should, you should. Don't look down upon yourself. Look at yourself as bigger than you actually are. And he's kind of been, you know, master at that, I think. But yeah, BBG Entertainment came out the fourteenth. Kind of flew under my radar, but I saw some people talking about uh, Shark Shark for the uh, the the Switch here, and it just to me, it, it's 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 weird, like. It's been years, man. You've collected funding. You've done. You've done the uh, the the crowdfunding campaigns. The weird, uh, you know, uh, investment opportunities for people. People getting duped into this stuff, and this is going nowhere. Reservations, pre-orders canceled. GameStop, you know, Walmart, things like that. Now, like nobody, nobody wants to touch this thing, you know, with 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 anything. You know, what is the saying? A 10-foot pole? They don't want to touch it with their with anything, man. Nobody wants to be associated with this, but I'm sure you still have those people who've been hanging on, who've been clinging on for dear life for this thing to come out. Well, put some news out. The only news that we've seen is is just weird boo-boo-ness about how you had to fire half of the people. Now you're running out of money and you can't refund everybody who asks, asks for a refund. And I warned people way back, ask for your refunds, man, because these guys are going, they're going under. And they're not going to be able to fulfill refunds. They can't fulfill the actual physical product. So they're, they're going to have struggles with those refunds. I don't know if there's still people waiting, but that was what the big thing was a while back. People couldn't get their refunds. And they put out a statement how they had to diversify. They had to go outside the box and, and do other things, I guess, like this. I don't know. Are they getting a piece of this? Or Look at this nonsense. What is this? Is this the same trailer from... Uh... Is this the same trailer? Whoa. From Intellivision? Like, this looks like a throw... Honestly, let's be honest with ourselves. This looks like a throwaway little indie game um, that you just see plastered all over the Nintendo Switch eShop that nobody buys. They try to game the system by putting it at, like, two cents or something. You know, that kind of thing. Whatever, man. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.